IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, are the weapon of choice for terrorists in Iraq and Afghanistan. They are cheap and easy to make, even easier to conceal, and just one can kill and injure scores of people, as we witnessed in Boston. Former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino says it is indeed a new reality for Americans. Unfortunately, we are looking at a new normal. More security, says Bongino, is not necessarily the answer. Most IEDs are constructed from ball bearings and gunpowder and cost just a couple hundred dollars to make. The question is, how many billions should America spend to stop a $200 bomb? I don't know if there is if there is such a thing as too far, you know. Uh, all these budgets in law enforcement, public safety, uh, they know that they have to have extra monies in order to prevent incidents like this from occurring. It's not the first time someone tried to use a crude bomb on American soil. In 2010, Faisal Shahzad failed to detonate one inside an SUV in Times Square. We have to focus on intelligence. It's the only sure way. If we stop the attack before it happens, then we don't have to worry about the aftermath. The pictures of carnage and blood still very much on the minds of Americans. But one runner is already making plans to be in Boston for next year's marathon. I mean, it's not going to stop me from wanting to do it again. It makes me want to do it even more now. I'm Christine Frizzell. Fox 17 News.